can you tell me if we divide this 5 times 1 by 8 so what will be the quotient and remainder so hi everyone i am swati thing welcome you all in the next lecture of vedic maths in this video we are going to discuss how to divide any number by 8 as here uh, 8 is near to the base 10 so our base number is 10 in base number we are taking the number which is in the power of 10 that is a hundred thousand ten thousand so here the 8 is near to the base 10 and how much it is uh, less it is a 8 minus uh, if we subtract this 8 then it gives the answer 2 so here 8 is near to the 10 and it is a 2 less than the 10 now in the given question if we have given the any number so you have to break that number in two parts in the right side it will be the single number and remaining part you have to write in the left number so here there are 5 times 1 so in the right side i have written that uh, last one and remaining one you have to write in the left side now in the first step you have to write the first number as it is and double of this number so double of 1 is 2 add in the next number so 1 plus 2 is 3 and double of this number again you have to add in the next number so double of 3 is 6 6 plus this one is 7 double of 7 is 14 add in this next number so it gives the answer 15 again this 15 double you have to add in the next number so 15 double is 30 30 plus 1 is 31 as our uh, base number is 10 which can turn 1 0 so here also we need a 1 digit but if it is an addition giving the two digit so that three you have to add in the next number so here three and double of this three add here so double of this three is six now take the addition so six plus one is seven that is nothing but the remainder and this three if we add in this 15 so five plus this three is 18 that one can you you have to add in the next number so seven plus one is eight and here 3 1 because we are dividing a number by 8 and 8 near to the 10 so 10 can 10 1 0 so everywhere we take the single digit if it is a more than that number so that next number we have to add in the next next number so that's why 15 plus 3 is 18 1 you have to add in the next number so 1 plus 7 is 8 so continue this process therefore 1380 is our quotient and 7 is a remainder Otherwise, if you don't want to break this number again, we are dividing the number by 8. So, you can divide this 31 directly by 8. This is representing our uh, quotient part and this is representing the remainder part. So, if we divide 31 by 8, then 8 3s are 24. So, 8 3s are 24. 3 will be the uh, quotient. Uh, add that quotient in the quotient part and uh, 8 3s are 24 so 31 minus 24 is 7 so therefore this 7 will be our remainder if we divide 31 by 8 then 7 will be our remainder and quotient 3 out you have to add in this 15 so 8 then next carry 1 so 8 3 1 so instead of breaking that number you can also uh, apply this process that because here 5 times 1 is bigger number so directly division is difficult but if we apply this Vedic mass trick then that number will be reducing so here it is only 2 digit number and 2 digit number dividing by 8 is easy so either you can directly divide that 2 digit number 8 whatever will be the remainder that will be our final answer and quotient part you have to add in the part of the quotient that left part and that will uh, be the complete final quotient so 1388 will be the quotient and 7 is the remainder if we divide this number 2131421 by 8 now first you have to decide the base number so what is the base this here we are dividing the number by 8 so 8 is near to the 10 so base is nothing but a 10 raised to the power n you can take 10 100 1000 10000 in this way so this number is more nearest to the base 10. So we are considering here base number is 10. Now what is the next step? As it is number you have to break in the two parts. Uh, in the right side there will be single number remaining number in the left side. So 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2 and 1. So this is our remainder part and this will be our quotient part. Now what is the next step? 
write first two as it is. So here two as it is. A double of two you have to write here. That is a four. Why we are taking here four? Because our eight is near to the ten. That is will be the base. And eight is two less than the base number. That's why we are taking double of the number here. So the two double is four. Now take the addition of this number. One plus four is five. Now add the double of the five in the next number. So it gives the answer ten. Ten plus this three is thirteen. And for separation, you can use this colon symbol. Double of the thirteen is twenty six. Take the addition. Twenty six plus one is twenty seven. Now in the next step, double of twenty seven. You have to add in the next number. So double of twenty seven is fifty four. Fifty four plus this four is fifty eight. Fifty eight. Double of the fifty eight is one one six. And add this two. So one one. Here it is in eight. Now in the next step. Add the double of this one one is two two three six and addition is two three seven. So here we need the single digit, but it is a three digit number. So we have to break this number seven and remaining is twenty three. Now twenty three we have to add in the next number. So here twenty three we have to add in this number. Here also we have to take double of this twenty three. So double of this twenty three, we have to add in seven. So double of twenty three is forty six. If we take the addition seven plus this forty six, so it is a fifty three. Again, it is not single digit. So fifty three we can take five three. So five we have to add in the next number, and this five double is ten uh, that you have to add in this number. So it gives the answer thirteen. Thirteen again you have to break in two parts. So one you have to add here, and double of this one is two that you have to add in this three. So it gives the answer five. That means five is our uh, remainder. And here, if we take the addition of this all the number, so here five plus this uh, one six six and this three uh, nine nine and eight seventeen carries one. So here it is at four. That means it is fourteen, and fourteen we have to add in the next number because everywhere we need the single digit because of base contain one zero. Now fourteen and here four plus this um, eight is twelve carry one. Now seven seven we have to add in the next number. So again it is a seven plus seven fourteen one that is a three three we have to add in the next number. So it is a six. Now here one is next. Then uh, five plus one is six, and next number is two. So when we divide this number by eight, then the quotient will be two six six four two seven, and remainder is five. So this is our quotient number, and remainder is five. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe.